No, uh, yeah, he picked him now, like, apparently. I saw it on a huh. results thing once. This will be interesting. Yeah, I mean, we definitely don't get to sh see Shulk too much, but he definitely has a lot that he can do, and uh, our resident money matcher extraordinary, Yoshkat, going up against him. I'll admit, this is a matchup I've never seen before. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely one of those matchups that not many people are going to see, to be honest here, because Shulk's are in short supply, but he has good disjoints, so that can help him against Yoshi, but the problem is the super armor on Yoshi can help him just get through those aerials if he tries to space them out with them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like, because Cloud can keep uh, Yoshi out pretty well. So I think certain Monado arts, Shulk should be able to. Yeah, I mean, the jump is definitely going to give him the aerial mobility to deal with Yoshi, but switching it up immediately in the Buster here. Let's see how much Yoshi does with this. Yeah, and he's all taking more damage in the Buster Monado. Yeah, we're seeing Yoshi guy going for a lot of these neutral bees here. Ooh, almost had that up smash read there with the air dodge. But yeah, right there, just jumping right through the aerial. Yeah, I like the fact that Yosh God isn't afraid to stay grounded and just do a spacing game with the eggs, because not a lot of Yoshis go for that, to be honest. I mean, usually you'll see it when they're coming back to the stage, but not so much on the ground. And now that he has a lead, he can sit back as much as he wants with the eggs. Yep, but that shield definitely going to be keeping BTF alive a lot longer here. Ooh, nice use of that bounce to get himself off the ledge there. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Yep, that's the challenge when you're trying to match out. you got to figure out when you need to pop out of that egg in order to mix up the Yoshi, because they're going to be waiting for you. I've seen some players, they act like they're mashing out, and they actually aren't, just to mess up their timing. Really? Yeah, like the opponent huh. hears you um, hitting the control stick, but you're not actually doing anything. That's interesting. That would honestly be a good option. Just sending him flying here, using that jump to make sure you can follow him, but send him back off stage here. He is... Definitely struggling to find a way to kill him, but that up B is gonna send him flying. DTF. And now it looks like it could be anyone's game. Yeah, I mean, honestly, DTF is getting a lot better at figuring out how he needs to move around Yoshikat and deal with Yoshi's options. So, I mean, we're definitely seeing him have a little bit easier of a time getting in, but these nares are really giving him a problem right now. Yeah, Shulk not known for having the best of frame data. Yeah. Definitely his uh, biggest weakness, in my opinion. Like, if he had the frame data of the other sorties, he could easily be a top character. Because, I mean, the versatility the Monado arts give you is just so nice to have. That, and he doesn't get much out of grabs. So shielding against Shulk's fine, because he has bad frame data and he gets nothing out of grabs. Yeah. Except for the 50-50 with um, Jump Monado. Up right. there. Yeah, and even that's really situational as it is. Yeah. Oh no, that, wow. Oh. I was about to say, there were, he had no need to go back down at that point because he had spiked him into oblivion. Because Yoshi cannot recover from that low. Yoshi got saving him at the end. Yeah. I dropped my phone and I was scared for a moment there. But yeah, I mean, if he hadn't saved him there, it would have been a battle of who floats down to the bottom first. I mean, you just see how low he drops down there. And the second one, he must have hit him out of his jump, or did he use it? I didn't see him actually I, use his jump. Yeah, I think he hit him as he was on his way back up with the jump, because I think he wanted to jump up and then use the upbeat egg in order to cover okay. him as he got closer to the stage. But DTF having none of that, going down there, take the first game and the advantage going into game two. This is a good counter pick for Yoshi. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot harder to kill Yoshi because of his weight here. And, I mean, honestly, Yoshi... God is really good at staying alive when he needs to, but as long as he doesn't get caught off stage like he did last game, we saw how long he was living that first stock. It'll definitely be a challenge for DTF to overcome. And here he can extend his combos with the platforms. Yep. He has the mobility to get around the stage. Yeah, no doubt about that. Huh. Decided to go for the egg roll there. Definitely an unconventional option. Wonder if it was a misinput. It's possible. Because, I mean, I could see him going for that long forward egg throw. Oh, that. he lost his jump. Yeah, but that egg coming in there to save him. That's definitely something you got to be careful about as Yoshi because once you lose that jump, your ability to recover is just hindered so much because that's really your saving grace there because of how big that jump is. Ooh. 
And then depending, like even at this high percents right now, um, Yoshi can actually get knocked out of his super armor. Yep. Ooh, very nice use of the counter, and that will kill with the power that the up smash gave him. I mean, it's definitely something you have to remember. It's not the best counter in this game, but it is a counter, and you do have to respect it at those high percents. Right now, Yoshi got, once again, on his back foot here, but egging him off stage. Oh, oh, perfect oh. spike there. Really good job catching him right in between the two hits of the up B there to send him down in the abyss. It doesn't matter if you have the shield or not at that point, you're going for a ride. Yeah, Yoshi has a really strong spike on him. That down air doing a lot of damage there, setting Yoshigod up to take the lead back in this matchup after losing his first stack to that counter. Yeah, DTF wanting to slow the match down here, realizing that Yoshigod was starting to get some momentum, not wanting him to keep that going. If he keeps it safe, he can bring his lead back. Right now, yeah. even game though. Yeah, I mean, one more hit, honestly, and it's evened up between them. But I mean, the challenge right now is just getting around Yoshka because he's going to be looking to space him out here and looking for those neutral beasts. Definitely his trademark option for Yoshi because he really loves labbing those setups you can get off the egg and figuring out how to read your opponent's options. And Shulk looks like he has a hard time dealing with the egg. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have anything to challenge it. Yeah, and a big part of it is, like you said, that frame data way back in the beginning is definitely one of his weak things. Coming out of that egg, you need frame data if you want to be able to challenge him with an offensive option. Because otherwise, you have to rely on a dodge. But almost killing him with that conversion off of the forward air. Shield not online yet. Oh, there we go. Yep. Definitely <laughs> got up in time, because he's yeah. really going to be needing that to live here. Like, if he could live this, get a <gasps> No. Oh, I was about to say. I thought that was going to kill. That sent him a lot further than I was expecting because he was in shield mode. And that nearly killed, but that oh. up air is going to take it. And Yoshka keeping himself in. It was close. If he could have gotten to um, Smash Monado, yep. landed one up tilt, I think Yoshi would have died. Yeah. All that rage. Yeah, I mean, if he wasn't in shield when he did that backslash, that would have killed. Yeah. Because of that knockback nerf on when he's in the shield mode, it's so much harder to kill while you're trying to keep yourself alive. I believe he actually landed the back hit too, didn't he? Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, this oh, is this the is spike. first stock, yeah. I mean, right here though, good job to Yoshgod just catching his recovery there and taking him right back. I mean, honestly, Yoshgod was doing a pretty good job of keeping up on the stage, so it's definitely where he will feel safe, but. I'm surprised DTF chose it. I wonder yeah, if he just felt comfortable here, or maybe this is a good stage for Shulk. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Yoshgod was also having a little bit of trouble killing DTF towards the end there. Yeah, extra distance really helped him. Yeah, and I mean, especially once Shulk starts getting into that shield art, it's going to be really hard to deal with him. You know, he's spacing pretty well, though, with his aerials. Yeah, definitely getting a good amount of mileage off of these backslashes. Um. Input, maybe? Maybe. Who knows? I mean, sometimes trying to mash into a different Monado while moving. Yeah. Ooh. Almost got that conversion on the up smash. If he had turned that around, that definitely would have connected. Yeah, I really like how DTF is using that backslash as a mix-up option for when he's running away. Just immediately change momentum and start coming back at him once he sees Ghost God starting to come after him. As long as you're a little unexpected with it, it's yeah. going to be hard to punish. Right. Definitely gotta love having that jump back if when you're that low. I like how he's using his back here. He's actually space mode. Oh no. Yoshi got a reel from that in real life. You'll see him visibly upset missing that, but. He's not out quite yet though. If he can seal the stock quickly. Yeah. I mean, he's got him at 118 here. All he needs is one good hit, one good read. And he's got the power as Yoshi to do it too. I believe pretty soon an up smash would actually kill. Yeah, no doubt about it. With Yoshi's kill power and with DTF and speed mode, that's definitely going to be working against him as far as being able to live here. But he should be able to outmaneuver Yoshi in order to avoid getting killed. But up here, nearly sent him away. Next one will be close. Yep, that'll yeah, do it, go. especially off a platform like that. Man, look at all that shield pressure yeah. from that down here. He just used the bounce coming out of the egg to get him. That's impressive. Good 
Good job, good respect. Job. Yep, yeah, you gotta recovery. respect that. Sorry. That's fine. Yeah, Yosh got really starting to feel Bring himself. Yeah, this is where DTF really needs a spike like he got in game one in order to keep it in his favor here. Or at least keep the stage control. He's bringing it back, though. Yep, sending Yoshka back out because he knows that his recovery is fairly limited once he has to use that jump. So if he can get the read on him. Yoshka doing these nares following up pretty well. Yeah, he's definitely looking for a setup into an up smash. Just trying to tack on a little bit more percent before he can feel comfortable. Yeah, good call going into the shield mode here. Recognizing that he needs to at least get to the ground before he can feel safe to combat Yoshi again. Nice read of the roll there, sending Yoshka right off stage. Trying to jump, almost getting caught by the forward air, but Challenge getting winning him out. Oh, the egg. Wow. Knocked him out of forward smash. That would have ended it right there. Oh, it would have. But right now, Yoshka sending him right back up and right back into the shield mode. Definitely going to be hard to kill him here. 150, and look how short these knockbacks are sending him. The speed nerves. Yep. Yoshka really has to be careful with his positioning here because one mistake is all it's going to take at this point for DTF with this kind of rage to take him out. Oh, got the egg hit, but just got to find a way to land and get back on stage. Yeah, and that's really the hard part right now because Yoshka is doing a really good job of spacing out. Egg sending him right back up, and Yoshka is getting so close with these setups, but right now, DTF Surprise finally on stage. Surprise is not going back to shield. Yeah, he must be uh, feeling it right now if he's going to be challenging Yoshi like this. Ooh, one mistake is all it's going to take right now from DTF to lose this. And you can just see the tension on everybody's faces. Not just the players, but everybody in the crowd. Just waiting to see who's going to be the first one to make that mistake. Oh! oh. Out of shield, up be not going to kill. Yoshi way too heavy. And even at 170% with all that rage. Not what? How is he living? How? Oh, shield. Wow. This is a game he's of got, heartbreaks right now. He's got a little left. If he can live this out. Yeah. I mean, back. right now, the longer he lives, though, it's playing against his favor. Because if he can't kill, he's got the percent deficit. Whew. Oh, he's got to be careful to regrab. Oh, no. If this goes to timeout. Because right now. Only minute oh. left. Up here. Gonna take it. Holy cow. Very intense set. I, I cannot believe that. They lived longer than they should have. Let's be that, honest. That was amazing. Wow. I mean, even retired Texans just showing you how he's feeling about that. He's not really retired. He's coming. 